Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to replace the stock fans on my CR10. I'm going to start in this video with the hot end fan and the part cooling fan. And I'll do a separate video for the fans in the control box. But the main reason for me replacing the hot end fan is it's broken and it makes a lot of noise. I want to get a Noctua fan installed instead of the stock fan. So let's have a look after the intro. So in my case, I'm going to replace the fan after just one week of use. The stock fan on the hot end is rattling and it's no good and it's too much noise from it. And I also want to get a better park cooling fan and I have printed out a shroud, this fan type shroud I found on Thingiverse and I'm going to install that as well as I replace the fans. So the first thing to do is to remove the old fan and, and connectors and so I'm going to show you that process. So the fans I got are Noctua NF-A4X10 FLX. It's a 40 by 40 millimeter and 10 millimeter deep fan. Um, I got two of those fans for the hot end and the part cooling fan. Uh, those are the fans I, I got. So the first thing to do is to remove this original shroud from the fan. And this is with a two millimeter X X bolt, that one here at the top and one on the side. And then the fans are tight here in a bundle and you're going to lose that tape. It's a pretty good tape so you might want to save that for putting it on back again. Here the, the part cooling fan, it's a 12 volt Creality 3D marked fan. Um, in my case this fan is rattling straight from the factory so it is a defected one. It's held in place by four screws. And the part cooling fan, that one is held in place by 1.5 millimeter screw. So here you can see the hot end and this design with this route is having the fan at this location and the, most of the air is blown over the heater block and they have put some isolation and captain tape around it instead of having the design that the fan would sit above the hot end. It's a very poor design I would say. This fan, the part cooling fan, it's a very small fan and has this small bracket and it's not doing very much. It's very small and not outputting very much air. So it's a good thing to replace this as well. So I'm gonna cut the wires. The wires go all the way to the control box. I'm just gonna cut the wires here and, and solder together the wires from the Noctua fan. The Noctua fan comes with all kind of connectors and all the accessories. Even has some connectors. You don't have to clip the wires if you don't want to. You can use those clamp on connectors and clamp them on straight away. But I want to get rid of this bundle, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use this one, but you can if you want to. So I'm gonna cut the end of this fan also. And here with the fan there are red, black and yellow wire and you can get rid of the yellow wire. That is a control wire and I'm just gonna snip it here right at the base. So this fan shroud is installed by removing those two screws that hold the hot end. And this slides on and then you put the screws back in. So I'm gonna remove those two screws. 
and then those screws are two millimeter screws. And the hot end slides inside. And you have to be careful not damaging the wires for the for the hot end. the way to go. Uh, first I was thinking where those wires should go but they go here in the back. Um, here's a place for a zip tie on this mount so this is the correct place for the wires and now this can be put back on. There are tight fit here in the plastic for the screw, so you have to align everything up and screw this in. Now you can see the air from the hot end fan will only blow blow air through the, the cooler part, not on the hot end itself. So this is a much better design. Um, uh, the other one was blowing more than half of the air straight to the heater block. Um, the, it's a it's a rather poor design, I think, but this one is designed much better. Let's see now that I have to get longer screws. So those screws are 16 millimeters, and I think you need 20 millimeters. So I'm replacing those 16 millimeter screws with the 20 millimeter screws. Now with the new screws in, it's quite stable, as you can see, so the air will blow directly on the radiator and not on the hot end like the old one. So now I'm going to install the Octo fan. So here I'm using 16mm screws to fasten the fan. So I put the cable up here and I'm putting in 16mm screws. This material I used is Colorfab XT and it's a very good engineering material and I'm using that for all kinds of mechanical parts. And now the hot end fan is in place. I'm using the same Noctua 40 by 40 by 10 millimeters fan for the Part cooling. I've seen some people use 20 millimeter thick fan on top, but if this fan is not doing a good job, I have found another bracket like this that has two fans. That one is like on the side, and on another one on this side. But I'm gonna try this with one fan here at the top and see how it goes. And as with the other one, I'm cutting the yellow wire. So when you put in a new fan like a Noctua, they say the airflow direction. Normally the air is coming out to the side where the label is. That is usually how those things are constructed. But usually they have an arrow pointing to the direction. So it's going to be like this. Um, again, I'm going to put in 16mm screws. And notice the holes. In this model are not big enough for those screws, so I'm just drilling out the holes with a 2.5 millimeter drill bit. That's 
seems to work fine. And those are three millimeters, M3, 16. to tighten this too much and stretch out the plastic. So now the fans are in and now I just have to solder the wires. I'm going to leave a, a good slack on this cable because if I have to print another one and move the fan over to this side and here, I want to have the extra wires and I will just bundle them up. Um, but I will probably shorten this a little bit for the hot end fan. You want to get some sleeves on the cables before you start your soldering job. When you're doing this, make sure you put on the sleeves high up on the wire so you don't heat the sleeve while you're doing your soldering. It's a pain. <laughs> you have to redo everything. One thing to note, um, this was the hot end fan and that is a red and black wire and the part queen fan is the blue and yellow and I assume the blue is negative and yellow is positive but I'll have to see. <laughs> and what you want to do is to pre-solder the wires before you connect them. Part cooling fan. So now the wires are connected. Now I can pull over the sleeves. It's best to let the solder cool down a little bit. But those are so tiny wires, it takes no time for it to cool down. Now I have my heat gun to shrink the wraps. It's best to use a heat gun, you can use a lighter, but those very small wires, it can be Difficult, you might damage the isolation, insulation for the wires if you use a lighter. So it's best to use a heat gun and just moderate heat. And now I have some cable management to do. So here you can see how this part is designed to hold the wires. And those are the extra wires I'm gonna save in case I have to change this design. So I'm just gonna bundle them up before I, I finish up. I want to test the fans and see how the run. When I turn on the printer, the uh, hot end fan starts right away. I'm, I'm not sure if I can start this fan. Yes, I was able to start this fan through the menu. Um, Put the full speed, I get decent airflow. So this is all wired correctly. So hopefully this fan will will do. And the sound from those fans are just a fraction of the sound from the old fan. So I'm quite happy with this. And now I can bundle up those wires and put them in place. I think I'm gonna put one zip tie for the main body of the cables and tie that up. And then I 
I'm going to put another zip tie for the extra cables. Don't want as much force on the extra cables as I have on the sleeve. From the back side, uh, the cables are in a good place. Uh, the main zip tie is holding the wire bundle to the body of the fan bracket. And now I'll just put the tape back on here for this one. So I think this is pretty decent. Um, doesn't have any cables standing out. From the side you can see how the cables go here at the back for the hot end. And this bundle is neatly wound here. And I have extra length if I have to move this to the other design. And I have the cable in a good length. So this was the process of installing new Noctua fans and the fan time heat duct for the part cooling. This is a much better design than the original. The original hot end fan was blowing half of its air or most of its air onto the heater block. And now the air is flowing directly to the to the cooling part of the hot end, not the hot end of the hot end. <laughs> and I think those Noctua fans are pretty good choice. They are very good fans and low noise and they last very long. So it's a good upgrade thing. It was quite easy to install. I used M3 bolts that were 16 millimeters to fasten the fans, and I used two 20 millimeters bolts to fasten the shroud to the hot end. So if you're going to do this, you're going to get two of those fans and print this one out and have those M3 16 and 20 millimeter screws ready, so you don't stop in the process. But this will be my video on installing Noctua fans and the, the new fan part cooling apparatus on the CR10. I hope you enjoyed this video and then I'll see you in the next one.